Hi guys, this is Jamie Lola Tulua and I am here to do a tutorial on my double bag mini album. Um, I was obsessed with the paper bag cards and so I was playing around and I wanted to do something different. So uh, I saw, you know, I was playing with some bags and I already did a video on this, which was my um, double bag mini album. And we talked about how it is here. You have tags here, here, and on the side. Um, it opens up this way. Then you have pieces here. And another piece here. And you open it again, and there's a flap there. You have this wide spread if you want to do one, or you can do it add uh, more than one paper. You have this clip here. Then when you close it back up, it over and you have a place in the back for a photo as well as a tag and this will have one two three four five tags in it or you obviously you could add smaller tags if you want to um, and then there's a tag here I put two tags here on this side okay so I'm going to show you the supplies I'm going to do I am just going to do the base and um, with the matting and then you can go ahead and embellish and then I'll show another part of the video where I've done all that. Okay, so the supplies you're going to need are your ATG gun or whatever kind of glue you want to use. I think for this project um, an ATG gun or your score tape will work really well. A bone folder. Also get some wet glue. Uh, you'll need some regular scissors. I got some small scissors here. You'll probably want a pencil just so you can mark things. I am using the. Oh, let's see. I'm trying to get the camera angle right for my phone. So I'm using the Halloween and Fall Stack from DCWV. You will probably need. What I did was take three different designer papers so that you could have move those around and then you'll want a heavier card stock for your actual tags um, you'll need two paper bags and any paper bags will work it doesn't matter what size I got these these are giant size that I got for $1.99 at um, Goodwill and these happen to be uh, let me see if I can get the size in here they are Six and an eighth by four by thirteen and three eighths. But you can use any bag you want because these bags are, are smaller. So the mini album comes out smaller. So you will need two of those. Now I've done all my cutting and I'm gonna give you the measurements for the my bag, but then if you when you do your bag, you just use the measurements that you have for your own. Okay, so you have your two bags. All right, and one of the bags, you'll notice, uh, if, you, if it'll help you, can mark it bag one or bag two. But whichever one you're going to use for bag um, one, you'll want to cut about a fourth of an inch off. Okay, basically, so I've cut a fourth of an inch off. And if you have a smaller bag, then obviously you want to adjust for that. So you want to cut that off. And then we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so I moved the camera to see if I can try to do a different angle. Um, and it's probably backwards for you. I'm not sure. Okay, but it's actually not that difficult once you get everything together. So this is the bag that you cut a fourth of an inch off on this end so we cut this fourth off and if your bag is smaller than just adjust the size basically um, this piece is going to be on the inside of the bag <coughs> and we have to cut a little piece off to avoid uh, so it actually closed down so here's the first bag so bag number one cut a fourth off then you'll notice that this is the bottom of the bag okay this is actually going to be the front of your book so you're going to take this and you're going to fold it. I'm just going to flip mine over. You're going to fold it so that it is even. 
on both sides. So here, okay, and then you're going to fold it again so that it is even. So basically, you folded your paper up like that. So there's the front. You have this little piece here. You have this piece here. There. Okay. Um, let's see. So this part, this, this little section here, is going to be on the right hand side of your book. And then this piece that opens up is here. Now you'll notice this is the side that we cut the fourth off. And now it's a little bit shorter so that it'll line up. So you want everything lined up here. Then the next thing you're going to do is take your second bag. So here's the bottom of it. You're going to, with the long side, this way. So hopefully you can see that. Here's the bottom of the bag. You're going to stick that inside here. Okay, so it'll look like this. So you have this bag and then this bag. Then what happens is you'll take this full assembly and line it up again to here. And can you see that? So when it's lined up, it's like that. Okay, then it goes all the way around. So when you come back over, you'll have this little flap. This becomes this piece here. So you have this open, you have this piece for your first bag, this piece is your second bag. It wraps around to the back, it wraps around, then you have the little flap. Okay? Now you can decide how you want to close it and you can actually decide which way you want it to go. So it could go this way or you know you could turn it upside down and then it goes that way. So which either whichever way you like. I'm gonna do it the way I did it the first time and I'll show you the example again. Um, here's the first piece. Here's that. Then here's the wraparound piece. And then it comes back to the front. Okay? So that's how that goes. So what we're looking at here right now is this, this, and this. Okay. So if I hold them together, you'll see this, this, and this. That whole section there. Okay. That is basically the easy part of the bag. Now, if you would like, you can clip your bag together so you don't get confused because we've got to do a couple things. Um, to get the rest of the bag ready. You have to make places for your tags. So you're gonna have a tag here, and that place is already ready. You're gonna have a tag here, it's already open. When you go to the inside, you're gonna have a tag here, it's already open, okay? What you have to do is open up the space for the other tags that go in the top. So there is going to be a space, if you look in here, there's going to be this space. Can you see that? So we have to open that up. Then, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and hold that together. Take a pencil and this piece, um, let me put a clip on it so you can see it better maybe. Um, yeah, okay. Here's the front piece that we're working on. Here's your second bag and it's attached here. So if you would like to make it easier, you can put your clip here just to hold it so you can see where you're at. So we're gonna put that clip right there, okay? Then you'll notice the bottom of the bag right there. What I do is take my pencil, and I'm hoping I can get it in there for you. Take your pencil and you wanna mark from this corner all the way down into the bag and then come back up this side, okay? So you wanna mark all that. Uh, all right, and you actually can do a little more here, okay? And go ahead and mark on it because you won't see it anyway. So there's one piece. Then go ahead and flip your bag over, 
Okay. You don't want to mess with this flap because it's already open. So you're not going to mess with that. Here, we have to open up this part of the bag. Okay. So do the same thing. I'm just going to close it back on this piece right here. Come and mark that. Okay, that section. So basically what it's doing is it's opening, here's your the here's the mat. You're gonna open the tag here. Okay. Leave this section alone. There's a little net falling alone. So you have two pieces up here opened. Then come to your back page. Okay. And if you want to, you can fold this in because you're only gonna open the tag from here to here. Okay, so you're going to do the same thing. I just folded that in so it wouldn't get in my way, and you could tell where to stop. Do the same thing. Put a mark on that in there. Okay, so there's that. All right, I'm going to cut this off and then start a new one. Okay, so I'm refilming this section out of order. Who did it? So rewind. What you should probably do is put top on the first bag. This is the bag you cut a fourth of an inch. You cut it off, then you do this, okay? Then you folded it up like that, so it looks like this. On the right side should be the short piece, okay? On the left side should be the piece that you can open all the way up. So you wanna to put top so that short is on the right, big piece is on the left. And then, go ahead and um, okay, I'm not going to refilm this, but so you don't make the mistake that I did doing this. Put top so that you know that this is the right side. The long piece that opens like that is the left, and then this is the top. I'm lying. Okay, <laughs> so here's my top. Mark this in the bag. So mark that section because you want to cut that out. Then you also want to cut. So you have that, you're gonna put the mark there, and you're gonna cut this, okay? All right. Now, another easy way to do it is if you open the bag all the way up, so that the open part is here and the closed part is there. If you look, you'll see that the marks are here, okay? So, you're going to cut. Do not cut this section, this section here. Cut from here. down to open this bag up. Okay. To open that bag up. Okay. Then, you should still have this top part closed because you don't want to get rid of that. And then go ahead and put in some adhesive just on the flaps. So you can kind of glue those down, back it down in place, so that they won't come up when you put the tag in. Put some glue on this little triangle, and you don't have to use a lot, just enough to stick it back down. Okay, and then on this side, and when you do the second side, it's almost easier to put it on the actual bag itself. I don't know if you can see that. It's almost easier to just go here and put it on the bag itself. Just make sure that it's no further than where you're going to put that down. Okay? So then you have that. So now that I have done it correctly, <laughs> there you go. Okay? There you go. Okay, so <laughs> here's the front of your bag and we're all ready. Now, here's your wraparound bag. You're going to slide the bottom part, and make sure your tag is at the top part. You're going to slide this bottom part into the short first fold. So you're going to put that like that. Okay? So go ahead and glue on this section, because you're not going to put any paper on it or anything. You're just going to glue that sucker down. This one you want to make sure that it is, it does have plenty of glue on it. 
and as everybody tells you, you could probably use score tape or red line, whatever, or wet glue. So you're just going to take the bottom here and line that up so that it gets glued down. Then take your bone folder and just smush it on there, you know. Okay. So when you fold this back, going here and here creates your pocket. See? See how that is? That, that's lovely. Then you wrap it around and it comes open like that. That's all the gluing you have to do for constructing the bag as far as that, you know, attaching the bags. That's where you attach them. Okay. And, you know, your bags aren't going to be exactly perfect. Here's the back side. I'm just going to rub that down some more. Okay. Get some of the bag creases. So basically, you are pretty much almost done with the assembly. Okay, let's go back to the front here. Now, you could do this the hard way. <laughs> but why do it the hard way? You want to go ahead and add your papers. Um, I can tell you the dimensions for this extra large bag. And I don't know what size the bags are for Michaels and so forth like that off the top of my head. So your, your measurements will be a little different. Um, Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to put a mat here. And you could double mat, single mat, or whatever. I've already cut all my papers. Um, I've cut this, the papers. And um, I've numbered them so as to help us. And I haven't done any embellishings or anything like that. Inking. You want to ink all your papers if you're going to ink. But I'm actually going to ink after I get everything down because I want it to like kind of go into the bag. So, and then, so you have all your pieces cut um, so that you're ready to go. So what I'm going to do is show you the last few little bits of gluing um, so that you can go ahead and embellish. So this is what I'm going to call flap one, which is your piece here. So this is the piece that we're working on. I'm put that in there. So we're working here, and we're I'm working around. So this is the first piece, which is here. So you have to figure out what you want on the cover. I want my piece to be this black piece, and I've done a roughly an eighth, or maybe a yeah, maybe an eighth of an inch around. So for my bag, my first mat is three and five eighths by five and five eighths. So all of the mats are that tall. Okay, it's five eighths. So this is three and five eighths by five and five eighths. And you guys just gonna do these. And you don't have to put a ton of glue on, but I always get nervous that stuff will fall off. So I put that there. So here's your first mat. And like I said, if you wanted to cover the whole page, you can. You know, from here, it's pretty much how do you want to decorate it. Okay. So there's that one. Now, you could measure and get a smaller mat here. But this is the exact same size here. So all I'm going to do is take my mat too. It's the same size. And you're going to end up covering up some of the paper with your flap. But... Why cut a special size when you don't have to? Now, if you're running out of paper, you might want to do that. I'm just going to put this glue on here. And if it's off camera, sorry, it's just easier. I'm trying to get this down quickly for you. So then, figure out what you want. And I want a little more of it to show, so I'm just going to put it right there. Lined up. Put that there. Do, do, do. Now, now, here's where you gotta glue your tab. So you have your pockets. Use your wet glue. Right? So use your wet glue. We're still on bag one. Your wet glue. Just go ahead and put it on the edge here. And my glue 
this triangle. Okay. So, glue this down. And I am really bad for extra glue spillage, so that's just my bane, the bane of my existence. This extra glue booshing out no matter what I do. It's either too much or not enough, so I guess I'd rather go with too much. So just glue those down. Hold it for a second. Then now you have a pocket here. Then we're going to do the same thing. You can put paper here if you want to. You're not going to see it, except for when you pull the tag out. And since it matches the thing, I don't, I'm not going to worry about it. So I'm going to put it, actually I'm going to put it on this piece over here. And put this glue here. And then put it down. Put it back down. All right, hold that. So then you have that piece, and I just didn't get it glued down enough here. Okay, be right back. Okay, so now you're pretty much done with your wet glue, unless you needed to tag some stuff down. So, tags there. They have a tag over here on this section. Now, this is your wrap around piece. It's come to the front, and I am going to cover this. Okay. Now, here's where you have another option. You could put some small tags here. Okay, so you could put some small tags in there if you would like. Um, I didn't on my mini, and I probably am not now because what's going to happen is I'm going to take this and stick it here on the inside with a Velcro tab or something like that so that, you know. That's what there is. That's what that comes in. Or so you could do it so that the tab is closed. You know, it closes here. You could do it any way you want. So if you're going to put tags in it, then leave this section open so that you have tiny tags that you can put in there. Okay. And um, yeah. Either way, I would still glue. If you're going to put your tags in here, I would still glue this. I'm going to use wet glue. I'm going to use ATG. Simply because you don't want this part flapping in the breeze. Right. And I wanted to say, because I was thinking about it, thank you, Marilyn G, because guess what? What tape I'm using? <laughs> she sent me some, uh, some tape. ATG tape, because I was talking about how I ran out. <laughs> And was meant to go to Hobby Lobby to get some and didn't. So she sent me some tape. I was like, yay, thank you, girlie. So as you can see, your tape is going well. So you have this, and you can make your, your tag a little bit bigger if you want to. Or, so just depending on which way you want it. Now, in my original design, you see how this little piece sticks out more, but that's just because of the way the bags were made. Okay. So then you have this section and I labeled I numbered mine <coughs> so if you do all your cutting you can number yours if you want to <coughs> excuse me so let's see let's say I numbered all mine so this is going to be number four it's going to be on the inside and you can number yours whichever way you want to I just did that so that it would make it a lot easier to remember where you're putting your pieces. So this piece is going to go here. And I'm going to. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do all the rest of the taping down um, off camera. And then I'll come back and do the tags. Okay. So I wanted to go ahead and do all the matting and so forth off camera so that it would go faster and you wouldn't have to sit here and watch that you guys know how to do that um so basically this is what it looks like and i'll turn it around this way hopefully i don't know which way is best for you to see it so this is the flap and because of the way this bag is in comparison to the other one there's not this extra piece it just kind of folds over it's still there but you see part of it here and here you don't so it's just a matter of what your bag ends up doing. So here's the front. There's a pocket here. 
pocket here on the side. Okay. And then you open it up. And you're just going to go ahead and crease that when you open it. It's fine. Okay. So now we'll just go ahead and you know, do your bone folder. Try to get the pieces to lay down nicely and so forth. And if it doesn't, it's handmade. So, you know, it's not going to be factory perfect. So then you have this section. And it might be upside down. I can't, I don't really know from this angle for you. And get my glue boogers off. Just go ahead and do all these again. Okay. Okay. Then you open this. You have this here. You can see that's that double page spread. And anywhere that there's like double pages, you can always split this because you can have. I did three sections, but you could technically have one, two, three, four, five. So you can have a paper here, you can have one here, here's where they join in a little section, here's a section, and then this page. So you can mat it however you want, and I'm only doing single mat. So you could do double, triple, you know. So then this is the page, this is the inside of that front flap, okay. So then you end up in the back. And you have that. So that is your base for this. And I'm going to show you a couple little tips. This piece, we can move. This is the front, and here's your bag. This is where we cut off. Thank you. This is where we cut off um, a fourth of an inch. When I got done adding paper and so forth, it still didn't close right. So you can just go back and trim off a little bit more. So when you're doing your mats, you kind of want to place them over just slightly in case you have to go back and do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my, I think this is an inch punch, but whichever punch you want to use. And since I'm going to put tags here, um, I'm probably going to put two in there anyway. I'm going to go ahead and put, um, I'm going to do both sides. Okay. And just go ahead and put that up there. And I always turn mine around so I can see it. Do your little half punch and click it so that you have that on both sides. Now you could do one side. Okay. Then you get to see a little peeky poo of the paper underneath, and it'll make it easier to pull your tags out. So then you have that. So then you can put, you can actually put as many tags in here as you want, okay? And I'm going to go glue this down some more. And there's that. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and do the same thing over here. And I think I am this time. I didn't do it last time, but I think I, am I? I'm just going to leave it there. Okay, I'll leave it that way. Um, What I wanted to say now. Okay, so you have a tag here, and you have your tags in here. So... With my size bag, and I wrote all these down, so let me show you two. With my size bag, we're going to use five inch by, I did these tags and I didn't number these. Eek, eek, eek. Okay, that's a bigger one, so it's going to be some rows. All right. These tags. So I did this one. This one is three and three fourths roughly by five. So then I'm going to take my corner punch, corner rounder and I'm going to round these. Okay. So this one will go in here, and you can make it bigger or smaller, depending on how much of the paper you want to show. This was, what was this? This was two and a half by five, and so do the same thing here. And like I said, you can do your inking and embellishing and all that. Okay, you can leave it on one side or you could do 
it on both sides. This one I liked it when I did it both sides to round all the corners. So there's that. And that goes in this side pocket here. And it leaves a little bit sticking out. So then you have that. Then you have this pocket up in here, which is where we opened it. Okay. Um, you could do a couple things. Because of the way we opened it, you could put a tag here and a tag on the other side. So you could actually have two tags in here if you wanted it. Or if you only want one, then you could go ahead and put one in and then glue this little piece down so it won't go. This one I made. So that one. This one is three and a fourth, roughly, by six and a half, because you want it to stick out. And I will do the corners on here again. And like I said, you could punch your hole. You could put fibers. Um, so I have this one tag here. And if your tag is too big, like because we have all that extra stuff in the bottom, you can work it around. Okay. And some people don't like to use the bags for that very reason because you do have that extra stuff in there, but I thought it was cool, so I did it. Alright, so you have that tag in there, and you could do them whatever color you want. I just had that paper, so I wanted to use it. Then you have this tag. So when you open it up, you have a tag in there, and it, you could put, like I said, you could put a tag over here if you wanted to, um, but it might get bent when you do this from the other side, so that's it's kind of up to you. So that tag is the same as this tag, I'm just I'm trying to do this quickly, so you don't get bored. <laughs> Okay, so then you have that tag that goes here. And you can do the same thing. Try to move all that stuff out of the way. And I suppose if you really, really wanted to get all that stuff glued down and everything, you really could just cut both sides of the bag and get rid of the crap that you didn't want. I just felt like that was kind of overkill for the moment, but you could do that. Just go down and cut it all out. Um, this one is four by five and a half, roughly, and it should fit here. And I'm going to do all the corners for this one. Try, try, try to go quickly. And I cut the hole out here because you really don't want your tag to stick out from this area. Because if it does, okay, see, I probably should cut off a little, another little bit of that. Because if it does, then it's not going to close right. It's going to get bent. So I'm probably going to go and cut a little bit of that off. Okay, but there's that tag. And you can put as many in here as that will fit. Here is the back tag. And it is five and five eighths by six and a half, and it fits back here in this back tag section, right? Right there, and it should stick up. And do this. I just want these on the side. I don't want the ones at the bottom. And this way, that just because I don't have anything embellishing the top yet, that way you can tell which end is what. And, okay. So, you have this little piece here on the inside that you could put a tag in there. Well, I, I didn't cut it open, but you could. And so, since it's not all the way open, I'm going to go ahead and put some wet glue just here and just on that little section right there hold it down and then this tag won't slide and you can do the same thing over here too unless you're going to put a tag in it 
well you still can do it put that there and then that way this tag will not slide into the other sections and that my dears is your and like I said, you could put some Velcro, you could do a ribbon tie, you could close it any way you want to. Um, I'm going to put some Velcro or a snap there or something like that. And there, my dears, is your double bag mini album. Start from here. And you'll want, you'd want to take this tag out to open it that way. Goes there. Opens here. Goes there. Goes there. Goes here. There's that. In the back. So thanks for watching, and I hope that was interesting and not too long. And if you have any questions, you can ask. Um, and then, like I said, just go wild with your embellishments. Thanks for watching.